afternoon, South Africa. Welcome to Afternoon Express. We're live on SABC. We hope you had an awesome weekend. Thank you so much for joining us. Indeed. How was your weekend? It was so cool. Nice and busy weekend. I was in Johannesburg at the first ever like, comedy conference that I've hosted oh. out there. It's a new comedian. So you can I saw some pictures talent. of you talking some serious stuff mm. on a panel up mm. there. Yes, mm. it was lots of fun. There's such incredible <laughs> talent in South Africa in comedy and I cannot wait. Yeah. I feel like we should welcome the show on a Monday and be like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry it's Monday for you and a brand new week has begun. <laughs> you know what? I've changed my attitude about Monday. Monday is like my opportunity to yeah. grab hold of the week. So, yeah. <laughs> Indeed. It was a really cool weekend, maybe for you, maybe for me, but for South Africa as a whole, uh, because obviously we were all celebrating the Springboks coming back from nowhere to beat England on Saturday. And also a real huge congratulations to Sir Khaleesi for captaining the team. Man, what an absolute legend. His wife was all over at some of the radio stations as well. Those two are such power couples in they SA. Are. All eyes on them at the moment and looking forward to seeing what more good they can do. Plus the Blitzbocker made it uh, a double win for us and they, as they beat England in the Paris 7's final to retain their title as the 2018 champions. So go box and Blitzbox. Absolutely. And it was the Comrades Marathon in KZN yesterday. Both the women's and the men's races were won by South Africans. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to Anne Ashworth and M Bongo Musa. Bongo Musa Mtembo. Mtembo yeah. indeed. I was what? about to ask you for help with yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, you imagine. I would have said. It's Bongo Musa Mtembo. Over to you, Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up on the show today, however, we're going to uh, be meat free in the kitchen with a fragrant Thai curry. It sounds and smells so delicious already from where we're standing. And for dessert, we followed up with a warm and comforting sago milk pudding. And on the note of deliciousness, a little birdie told me that McDonald's may have some special surprises for you and I today. Ooh. I will say that I've seen that on some other TV shows shows and I was waiting for our chance. Did you have a bit of FOMO? I had FOMO. They're okay. going to come and deliver something okay. amazing and it's probably, they said that it's going to promise to be tasty as well. So I can't wait for that. It's another installment of Mummy Mondays and today we discuss the issue of an absent father in a boy's life and joining the conversation is one of the country's most sought after photographers, Austin Malema, who spent most of his childhood without a father in his own life and now with his own son, he plans to be there for him every step of the way mm. and he'll be sharing his journey with us. Indeed. So head over to our social media platforms and add your voice to the conversation so we're asking you what about your father figure makes them special you can tweet us all of those beautiful stories to afternoon chat that's our handle and you can use the hashtag afternoon express so we can find you or find us on our facebook page What an incredible guest, and we cannot wait to introduce her to you. Yeah, our first guest today has been on a winning streak with regards to prestigious awards of late. And last year, she won Best Praise Poet at the South African Traditional Music Awards and followed up recently with Osama for Best Traditional Album. How awesome is that? Jessica Mangeni is South Africa's foremost female Imbongi, who was first made a name, <laughs> who first made a name for herself as a praise poet in the Soweto Gospel Choir. A multi-talented artist, she not only travels the world performing, but also runs her own fashion label called uh, Quantu Designs that creates elegant Afrocentric fashion and you can see it on the show today. You look amazing. <laughs> thank you ever so much Dan. Uh, Bonnie. Sure. Yeah. Thank you ever guys for having me here. It's yeah. a great honor for me um, just to be in Cape Town baby. Yeah, you know? I'm yeah. saying you've just positioned yourself very very well. Very right? nicely. Yes. Very, very nicely. And actually we need a voucher so that we can take another <laughs> adventure in Cape Town. Flying from Joburg to Cape, to Cape Town is a very special thing. More special yeah. when the title has changed. Yeah. Summer award winning yeah. Jessica oh, Mbangeni, yes. you know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> and, I, and I just want to say I don't think there's been a better dressed guest on this couch yeah. before in, totally. on Afternoon Express. So and it has you. been a best dressed for um, the summer um, red carpet. I, I swept that red carpet. peacock. You killed it, eh? I, I killed it. And uh, uh, all this creativity comes from the um, use. Wow. The ancient of poetry that is within me. Wow. So uh, I'd like to advise other 
performers, creative souls, to just be versatile and do this. Mm. And, and be not, yourself, and hey? Just be yourself. Explore. Yeah. There's mm. so much to you that you don't know. Just be somebody different. Do Absolutely. do you. Yeah. It, it, bring, it, it, uh, bring, it adds value yeah. in your brand. Mm. And also, you, you you begin to understand yeah. the economic value, the economic sustainability of your of your yeah. brand, yeah. your yes. music, all your creative, yeah. uh, 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 all your creative gifts that mm. you possess. Then, um, music is a cherry on top. In my mm. life, I've worked very hard. I'm, I have my own record label, and I know all the. Um, a professional business way that I should conduct my business. Yes. And now the clothing. So now Jessica Mbangeni is the, has got endorsement from Quant Afrocentric Designs. Yeah. So when other brands are coming through um, because they see that Jessica has performed for 56 million people. And actually, she has been there. She has been traveling the world in seven seas. When those endorsements are coming true, they come in line with the brand that sustains my livelihood. Yeah. And also that puts bread on somebody's table yeah. because That's I don't beautiful. only make this by myself, but mm. I've got crafters all over uh, a nation, yes. nationwide yes. and also the, the full-time staff that is working mm. every day, making yeah. these outfits, uh, uh, beating up all this work. Yeah. So you're and what I can't help but feel like it's a completely spiritual um, expression. It's it's not just a performance. And you speak a lot about how your your expression comes from a very deep mm. place, and how you you make your livelihood comes from all the creative gifts that you mm. have. Tell us how your spirituality and being imbongi are interdependent or linked. Um, I didn't want to be imbongi. Because in our African culture, a woman doesn't speak loud. You ah. you have to be sitting on that corner. Even when you when you you have put your ideas, you've ne you'll never get a credit. But uh, because I had always have this sense of being unique, and my mother, m uh, my family, uh, I'm coming from a support system that says be yourself. And when I conceived this uh, gift through my son, I gave birth to my son before um, uh, uh, getting married mm -hmm. out of wedlock. And my grandmother taught me that when you, you, when you give birth to your child out of wedlock, you give your child your clan names uh, because your child will be a crying baby and you won't understand what's going on. You'll be frustrated. So that child needs a sense of belonging. So it came true then when, mm -hmm. I gave, uh, when I gave the clan names to my son, reciting to him, Tula Kubevu Tibachiana, Shuba Soshubela Banduan. And his eyes just uh, striked my, my soul and uh, the ancient voice came out of me. I always did this, but I never knew that it was praise poetry. Yeah, yeah. It was this gift of Imbongi, but my mom was yeah. there and she's a born again Christian. I thought she would say when I finished uh, getting back on that trance, she would say I must be laid hands and feet by the big yeah. bishops mm. because I was demonic possessed. But surprisingly, she said to me, you've got a gift of praise poetry, but mm. you must use it profoundly. So uh, that's how Imbongi comes uh, balances the spirituality because yeah. I came, I went through the trainings of Gibson Kente, uh, mm. which is meditation, the technique. Mm. Uh, he mm. was he was giving us meditation and balance through the the model that says it's a acting technique. Mm. Ah. Uh, also, Fim Tina of of Tantoni who honed me and said and instilled confidence in me that there's there's a voice of purpose within yeah. you, yeah. so that voice is driving. The, uh, the, the purpose of being the voice of the people. Mm. I unveil a lot of corporate uh, and, and social economic developmental Event. structures in our country. Yeah. Abu Khao train, yeah. ba, ba Puma Pagum, um, uh, what's this, uh, the banks, mm. anything mm. that comes to the country, I bless it. Mm. I've wow. blessed the, um, uh, the 2009 uh, FIFA draw in Cape Town. Did you bless the Samas after the award, obviously, before the award? Uh, well, uh, I've, I've blessed the Samas. I've blessed the Samas. <laughs> they blessed Samas. you. They blessed you. You're, you're a gatekeeper of sorts, a totally, spiritual yeah. gatekeeper mm. of sorts, welcoming uh, new 
paradigms or new dispensations into yeah. into our culture mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. we're going to chat more a little yeah. bit later on it so if you've never had the privilege of hearing jessica mbangeni perform then stay tuned till the end of the show when she treats us to an exclusive tribute to the late that amadina it's going to be incredible we heard the sound check beforehand and you're in for a huge treat now coming up after the break we chat to professional photographer austin malema uh, this guy has worked with the likes of casper Vest, ricky rick aka the list literally goes on you do not want to miss it it's going to be incredible Welcome back to Afternoon Express. I've got the biggest smile on my face because finally Afternoon Express has got their turn. Uh, I told you that there was going to be a nice surprise coming for us on the show today and it officially has arrived. Masi has brought some of the McDonald's breakfast. Thank you very, very much. She's brought the brand new McDonald's breakfast which they've got available for you and we're trying to encourage the whole of South Africa to ensure that you try and have breakfast for lunch because the food is so delicious and nutritious when it comes to breakfast. They just want to eat it at any time of the day. And I've seen all the other shows get the opportunity to have their deliveries and finally our shows has arrived. And the funniest thing is that often myself and Jeannie, whenever, Bonnie also gets included sometimes as well when she's feeling in the mood. We sometimes order on Uber Eats the McDonald's from across the road and they come and deliver it for lunch for us this side before the show. So finally, we didn't have to pay for this one. It's fantastic. And they brought some for the crew too, so it's awesome. Bonnie, yours is on the way. <laughs> so our next guest is considered South Africa's photographer to the stars. Austin Malema started his career as a video editor, but his passion for photography and keen eye for capturing the perfect moment through his lens led him on a path to becoming one of the most sought-after celebrity photographers in the country. Working with hip-hop stars like Casper Nyovest, Ricky Rick, and AKA, to name a few, and all of this under the age of 30. 
Welcome to the loft. Thank you, thank you. I saw you gushing there. Were you, were you like, don't say that, that's not, that's not. <laughs> it's, that's always, not it's always such a surprise, like, uh, for talking over to the stars. It's like, whoa, okay, yeah. okay. Well, keep it, keep it. I, I say you. receive it and keep it. So anyone can take a picture, really. But what makes a picture memorable and what makes it live on? I think the biggest thing is capturing the right moment. Like I have this thing of just waiting because people are in every conversation, like probably after 15 seconds, someone smiles. So I always just wait on the perfect moment where someone smiles. I had a very like um, when I created my first website, I said I freeze moments in time, which was very funny to me. Wow, so, yeah. it's, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, phot photographs are also works of art and they can be yes, analyzed yeah. like any other art piece, really. Um, and do you feel like as the more you take pictures, the more you kind of want to tell stories? I think from my film background, uh, every picture that I capture is trying to tell a story. Um, I always say when I shoot concerts, I always shoot from the perspective of a fan who's not at the show. Ah. So I always show them what they're missing out on or what yeah. they didn't see. Yeah. So you started a hashtag that sparked up a lot of de debate, credit the photographer. And I have yes. another question that's where I played devil's, devil's advocate Vicket, with you okay. concerning it. But what was the incident that brought about that hashtag? And what did you want so, people to take away from it? That was, credit the photographer started the year before. So um, the year before was Casper's very first uh, fill up which was fill up the dome. And the very first image that went out um, viral was my image and it was printed on like magazines, on wow. the star the next day. Like most of the sites were using them. And I was like, this is very weird because I put it out and nobody has credited me. And then uh, wow. later on during that year, And I nobody was, was like, oh, great picture, great picture. Austin. Yeah. Please it can just, we use it? Yeah. They were like, oh, no, we'll, we'll everybody just that. picked it up and then they ran <laughs> with it. And then later on in the following year, um, I had shot stuff of Loot Love and a friend of mine walked up to me and he said, dude, your pictures are being used on magazines and the credit is Instagram. I was like, okay, cool. How does that happen where Instagram doesn't take pictures, it's just an app where you upload your pictures. Yes. There's someone who was tagged on those pictures who took those pictures. Why can't you guys do the same thing? And that's what bothered me about it. And that's when I started Credit the Photographer. But it got elevated with the summers because during the summers, on my flight to the summers, I tweeted that this is what's going to happen because I was like, this always happens every time. People always uh, take our work and they don't credit us. And I was just like tired of it. And during the summer, same thing happened, and that's when I started the hashtag. Credit the photographer. So w um, just let me play devil's advocate for a second here. So let's say I'm at an event, and yes. you take a picture of me, and I don't know that you're taking a picture of me. And I find it online, and I absolutely love it, and I reuse it, right? So isn't it reciprocal that you took a picture of me that you're hoping will bring attention to your work, I don't and think... I didn't necessarily ask for you to take a picture of me. So why, why am I messed up if um, I don't credit you? Half the time is this public indemnity when you walk into a place. Okay. Right? I always say this, if I catch you with the pants down during an event and I decide to post it, that's something you can't do anything about. Because right. half, the places, half the places have public indemnity, especially where there's recordings. They tell you when you walk in that there will be a live recording of this. So you walked in and you gave them public indemnity. So it doesn't put me anywhere. So... Every time I took the pictures, it was never about trying to, to, to get my name elevated by anyone else. Yeah. If you don't pay me, that's my work you're putting out and nobody knows who took that picture. Right. That's always the problem. It was never about trying to get my name elevated at any point or right, attacking any right. stars. It's just to say, you didn't, you didn't pay for it. And half the time is I tag the people that I took the pictures uh, for. So I there's see. always a trail of okay. where it came from. Okay. So it's not like I just randomly found it. Your name was attached it's, yeah. and it's my duty to say, I got this picture from, from Austin's website. And it's the same as like yeah. a journalist who use uh, images and they never try to trace back where it came, where it came from. from. That's the only thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking such beautiful pictures. They get everybody talking. And you're not going away. We're going to chat to you a little bit later about yep. fatherhood. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Indeed. Awesome will be back with us later on in the show for our Mommy Monday segment where he shares his journey of fatherhood. It's going to be a great conversation, so please join it by answering today's question on social media. We're asking, what about your father figure makes them super special? You can tweet us at Afternoon Chat is the handle you can find us on. Give us a follow while you're there and use the hashtag Afternoon Express or you can comment on our Facebook page. You can find us Afternoon Express there. Now after the break, we head to the kitchen for a meat-free Thai green curry.
Welcome back to Afternoon Express on this Monday afternoon. It's good to have you with us on the show. One of my favorite things about meeting you guys on the street is always saying how much fun I have in the kitchen. Yeah. Obviously, Chef Aya joins us today. We're going to be making something so delicious. But with World Meat Free Week officially starting right here today, we want to challenge every single one of you to try going meat free for the week or at least once this week. Can you accept the challenge? As a result, obviously, we've learned uh, that just meat, uh, going meat-free yeah. is really, really good for us, but also it's really good for the planet. So today in this kitchen, Chef I is going to be uh, showing us exactly how to go meat-free with today's dish. It's a spicy green Thai corn curry featuring corn, soy, and meat-free balls as the hero. Yes, sir. So it's going to be such a very, very beautiful um, recipe. And it sounds simple. Today. I had yeah. a look through the recap that we're going to show everyone a little bit just so now. So it's, it's so simple. simple. Yeah, so I'm going to use my olive oil in the pan first that mm -hmm. goes in to just get so hot. And then I'll just add my coconut cream in there to oh. just kind of bind it all together. I mean, you don't have to add all of it. Because a lot of this, I guess, is a lot of like fattiness in yeah. that actual cream itself in any case. And then, can you smell that? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to add my Thai cream curry in oh, here. Oh, as soon as that hits the pan, yeah. everyone is going to smell it and start coughing. It's awesome. It's my favorite so thing. So you, you stir this for like a minute uh -huh. until you can smell all the fragrance coming out of it. Stop. And then with that, I'm just going to add my greens. So I always add my greens for like four minutes. I don't want them to overcook. And you yes. still want to get that nice crunchy flavor. It's like blanching yeah. them inside yeah. the liquid as yeah. opposed yeah. to really yeah. cooking yeah. them. Because yeah. they yeah. become pop and they go gray. <laughs> so you stir that in for like 10 minutes, mm -hmm. right? In a slow heat simmering. And then after that, you're going to add your stock. Oh, stock. So oh, this is like go straight for the corn. Yeah, so this is the vegetable stock. So this, <laughs> this recipe is very nice. It's meat free and there's no soy in there and it's very okay. healthy. Stunning. Yeah. All right, so can I pass this on to you? Yeah, so basically, yeah, yeah. that's going to simmer down. It's going to get nice and hot. It's going to get those vegetables cooked through. Correct. For the sake of television, I want to show you the hero product in here. Do you want to add that for me? All right, let me see it. Okay. No, you're going to do it. You're the boss. I, was, I messed it up, and then I'm in trouble. <laughs> and another thing with this, you can always add your your, ve your vegetables that also give that nice tangy meat mm. flavor to your, to, to your dishes, like your basil, your mushrooms, and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because mm. you're also trying to create for those who like their meat. And they find the challenge very, very difficult. Exactly. So they're adding yeah. those basil. We'll if you, if you're nervous bit. about this challenge at home and you're one of those people who eat meat for breakfast, lunch, and supper and want to try this challenge for a week, the best way to do it is try and hide a whole bunch of vegetables in there that are quite meaty to the texture. So those are really great examples that he gave us just Can now. So aubergines, mushrooms, yeah, etc. Yeah. Can you smell that? Oh, the it smells like amazing. Green. And then you just finish it off with your zucchini noodles. You know, yes. you can buy this at the store or you can buy the, 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 the zucchini itself yeah. themselves and then you just Spiralize them yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. You can even make little strips yourself with like a potato peeler. You can play around with any way to do this. This is a really carb conscious version of the same dish. Uh, and I imagine you can just serve this with a bit of rice because that's also meat free yeah, yeah, if you yeah, really yeah, wanted yeah. to. Uh, and I absolutely love the corn products, by the way. When it comes to trying to find a meat alternative, uh, these guys are freaking incredible. I really, I always buy their products, keep it in the freezer. It's handy, it's easy, and it's really simple to use. So if you guys are looking for it, the big orange and green bags are the best way to find it in the freezers at your local supermarkets. It's awesome to have this dish available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at it. And then it's done there. And then I've already have a finished product over there, which you can top it up with your um, almond onions. nuts or spring Ooh. onions or whatever favorite nuts you like, you know, that yeah. works for your curry. Oh, so yeah. That's try it. a green curry on a meat free Monday as we challenge you to try a meat free week. Now, that's how you kick it off right here on Afternoon Express. And if you want the ingredients uh, sent to your phone, then you SMS the keyword corn, Q U O R N, to 33650. It'll cost you one rand fifty. Remember, your free SMSs don't apply. And as I promised, if you guys missed any of the steps, here's a quick recap for you.
So make sure you join the conversation by answering today's question on social media. We're asking you, what about your father figure makes them special? Reach us at Afternoon Chat on Twitter using the hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page. After the break, it's time for Mommy Matters. And today, we look at the importance of a father figure who's present in a child's upbringing. Hashtag just... From beef lasagna to creamy macaroni and cheese, Clover the Whistling Chef's high-quality, ready-to-eat meals are made using trusted Clover cheese, milk and cream. It's SA's favorite home-cooked recipes, now prepared and conveniently packed with a variety to choose from. Added to that, Africa's first Vaxil technology ensures they're kept fresher for longer for the whole family to enjoy. The Whistling Chef. Heat, whistle, eat, sing. It's as simple as that. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. It's our favorite part of Monday. Joanne Strauss joins us for <laughs> Mummy Matters on Mummy Monday. Research shows that almost half of South African children are growing up without their fathers being actively present in their lives. And statistics show that sons who grow up in a fatherless home are more prone to aggressive behavior, getting involved in unhealthy relationships, committing crime and suffering from addiction. With that said, there are men who are making sure that they close this gap by playing an active role in their children's lives. Now, one such man is our special guest today, Austin Malema, who is father to three-year-old Ronewa Malema. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. 
いたバイブタイスミシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシューシュー
male figure that's around you, mm -hmm. you know, if they care about your child, they will always be present and they will help them learn certain things. Yeah. But if they're not there, then it's, I can't say there's a way you can teach um, a lady how to kind of create a male figure in a child's life. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's possible at all. Wow. Austin, you're, you're one of the cool kids of, of media in South Africa. <laughs> of, uh, you, you hang in all the cool circles. Um, as a young father, I mean, you became a father at the age of 24. Yeah. What would your message be to young absent fathers? What, what would you say to them? What is the best mm. way to actually add a positive, positive, positive contribution to their children's lives? I think um, most young fathers run away or run away from their responsibilities because of fear, you know, um, either they're not ready. I don't think anyone is ever ready to have a child. But and, and a lot of times the fathers think it's just the monetary contribution. And We're it is just not. looking for it's, maintenance. It, that's it's, not, it's that's not, about not it. That. I think the relationship between you and your child is beyond monetary needs that your child needs, you know. Mm -hmm. It will never, money will never suffice for a father who's not there because mm -hmm. you know your father's there and they just buy you mm -hmm. gifts. And when you need someone to speak to, you don't have anyone. When you grow up as, as a young male, there's always different questions that you have to ask. And it's always great to have a male figure to ask, but if your dad is not around, you know, there's just other people that you can speak yeah. to, but it's not as easy as it would have been with a dad. Mm -hmm. Dads, I think fathers, create great relationships with their children from a young age because mm -hmm. kids sense your your presence when when you're around and, and they I think sense that's that what you want to be present. you want to be present mm -hmm. so i think when you're present um, it's always easier to build that relationship but if you're not it's just don't run away for it forever like from a, from it forever because you can't really shy away from a person who's alive mm -hmm. to be honest mm -hmm. you that person will always be alive and it just makes you a bad father rather be there have communication that might be limited but have a relationship with your child it doesn't help to run away from this person especially if you know that they're alive mm -hmm. yeah yeah well thank you Austin you're such a great example and mm -hmm. I'm glad to see so many more young men taking this seriously and showing up for their children mm -hmm. it's really great yeah. like the change has happened in the past it couple of happened. years where a lot of young fathers I actually take yeah and a lot of fathers. celebrate I agree yes. with you let's celebrate and not always villainize fathers, fathers. Yeah. let's celebrate the fathers who yeah. I kind do of feel like people role. do that to kind of pull fathers back and it doesn't really work it just yeah. pushes them further away yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. a lot of fathers are showing up so we're really mm -hmm. grateful for that and we want yeah. to know from you what topics would you like us to discuss in future on mommy mondays joanne is running an awesome competition on her website mm -hmm. modernmommy.co.za and head over to the mommy monday hashtag giveaway post and comment what topic you'd like us to cover on the show which guest you want to see in future and you could walk away with a product from lemur one of the world's most luxurious skincare brands T's and C's do apply. Clover Fresh Milk is way better. Made with love by Clover. We're back in the kitchen. We've made main course and all that's left is dessert. Now, a Sago pudding is exactly what you need to brighten up your Monday. It's warm, comforting, and it's a pudding made with the superior quality of clover fresh milk and will certainly impress your family and friends as well. So if you would like this recipe sent to you, then SMS the keyword clover to 33650 and it'll get sent directly to you at a cost of one rand fifty. It's time for us to be able to make Sago and I've been dying to know what Sago was because it looks so cool. It's these little bolikis that are around you. I thought it was manufactured. It's found in palm, in like a palm trees in yeah. Southeast Asia. Did you know? Like no, at I the base know, I things? I didn't know. I didn't know. All I knew was that if you could, if, like, I touch it, I feel the taste. It feels like quinoa. You know when quinoa yes. is raw? It kind of feels but like it. But it's so yeah. hard to yeah. chew on. Yeah. I try to stick one in my mouth just and try and chew on it. It's so hard. It's like a raw pasta. So let's get making take. Yeah, it tastes so good. We're going to be using our clover fresh cream. Ah, uh, fresh milk. Yeah. So fresh milk. You just there use a cup Bring of that. Temperature down there. Nice. Yeah, and then you let it simmer just for. A minute, and then that's when cool. you're going to start adding your sugar. So I've got custard nice. sugar here and brown sugar, just to give it that nice color at the end when it's baking. I see. Yeah. So that's kind of like caramelizing yeah, the milk yeah, almost, yeah, and gives yeah. it that nice brown yeah, color. That's correct. Nice. And then with that, I'll add my vanilla essence in there. Mm -hmm. So is this, are these Jeez. the staples for any sago pudding? Because it's a it's a classic in everyone's homes. It is homes. a classic, and I'm and scared and the grannies are going to get hold of me and say to me like, "You're not making the traditional way of making sago. This is the traditional. This is the traditional way, and everyone is making it the same. I think this is the best recipe for it." So nice. this is just uh, my cinnamon powder in there, so you let that simmer for another two minutes. Nice. And then that's when you add your butter, and then you add your sago, and then you let it cook yeah. for like a good 10 We're minutes. We're making super fancy sago, and it's super fancy sago because obviously you're using the superior quality of clover in there. So you can tell your friends if you're making this sago that you're making them a pretty fancy version of it. Deal? Yeah. 
deal. Look at that. It looks like pearls. It is. And then it almost becomes opaque the more and more that it soaks up all the liquid. So you soak it for like 10 minutes simmering for 10 minutes and then the minute it starts to bubble up, when yes. it's like open up, that's when you know it's ready. And then when it's starting ready, you just whisk in your egg yolks in there, but you must always make okay. sure that your pan is not too hot because yeah. it's gonna start to scramble. You don't want to scramble. Yeah, you don't want it. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. yum at all. <laughs> just no one can say go out the door. For me there quickly. And then I'm just gonna quickly whisk in my egg yolks in there. Cool. So you've separated obviously the egg yolks. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you guys ever tried to play around with doing that, it can be such a like an interesting thing. I learned the other day that if you use like you know we're all trying to limit the amount of plastic we use in the home. Uh, everyone should try and eliminate a single use plastic. You bring a little bottle and you put the egg onto the cap, whatever, and you suck it out the bottom, and it sucks the yolk out the end, and you you left with just the yolk uh, inside and the whites on the outside. So can you such just a help, fun help way. quickly with that egg yolk? Sure. And then not to waste with the egg whites. We just try. We, we just um whisk our egg whites. Whisk, we made, whisk, whisk. Yeah, we made a, a meringue with them, so we can oh, fold it in here. We don't want to waste. We don't waste here. Look at nice. that. Oh, it even changes color when yeah. that's in there. I want to put it back down on the stove so we can show everyone at home what that looks like. The color difference. You see how that's changed color completely there? It's now gone this nice, beautiful brown. And it smells so good. And the more the sago is going to absorb all those flavors, oh man, the more it's going to be delicious. Do you want to pass me the meringue quickly? Sure. So this is a meringue we did with custard sugar. Okay. I'll just put this here quickly and then you just whisk and then yeah. I'm going to fold this in slowly okay. and then off in the oven. So you bake this in the oven for yummy, 15 yummy. to 20 minutes. And it comes out looking something like, voila. Yeah. Amazing. If you guys got a perfect oven safe dish, use the ones that we've got on the show here today. Whatever you got at home, be able to make it in the oven. It looks delicious and oh my word, that smell of that cinnamon and all of those flavors together in one amazing dish is incredible. So I hope that you guys are going to make this one at home. It's so indulgent and the perfect ending to a meal. Remember to SMS the keyword Clover to 33650 to get this recipe on your mobile device. And if you've missed all the details, here's a quick recap. So after the break, we're back with one of South Africa's most sought-after praise poets, Jessica Mbangenu, who performs an inspiring tribute to the late Tata Madiba. Clover fresh milk is way better. Made with love by Clover. Africa no salam Africa Africa no salam zonzundu Africa no salam lisala no tinto na Africa
Welcome back to Afternoon Express, the moment we've all been waiting for. Now, 2018 marks the centenary of South Africa's most iconic public figure, Nelson Mandela. And joining us now for a fitting tribute to the great man is renowned Imbongi, Jessica Mbangeni. This is Africa, a tribute to Nelson Mandela. Take it away. Hey. Africa no salama Africa Africa no salama msonzundu Africa no salama msonzundu Africa no salama msonzundu Africa no salama Africa Zifiki ni zikala mga zingia Zizeku saku sam Zizenzo no saku saku Yangu shita mbekulu ya kama nga omane ya landula Aputusa lama petengwa bipita mazinyo pute papa Kalu mpali wasuga wapepeta Ebe kunugu shakla teki sama loko nye Kutu waila shimbo ya kongu poyana Ebe kutofa tofa Ebe kunyatela Ebe kubisa nge nkandosi mshaba mnyama mshaba koko Masi mashaza masi matumleyo Ako nyiswe kukuzinga Nepo nko la maafrika Kuli kia maafrika njitu hoto Kengenye meko ya kumeli nyani so Nenzo ndelele ya kukinu sinzo la afrika Kubakala kula mshaba na lamache chiko lita na silivere Inka simlo ya zbiye na kuti hai Kame na khuji laba khaplize kampa za makalanga Kume kani zidandi na nizidogasi Kume kani magwati na nmakia sana Niza ni mtabe luchika wa islam kulu itzopa luka uto khaka kungika Kwa mbaga la kuluwe panzi klinga nga mtoli Wangu na kumprofe tuzika na mtutwe ni Ela kwa na mkilazo nezo makoboka Hila mi keke mba mapule pa maili hili Ama chini china machipi la machijolo Kwa li thasa nalsen mandela Siti baya Takwa li sola sulu Wana tuwa lututulu wazi tuwa zangwa fuza mpambili Omkange, Ostev Niko, Krizani, Robert Sabugwe Titeka makaweka aswa Lilian Goyi Antile Tambo, Wini Matikiza na Mandela You have upheld the dignity and the stature of the African child in the entire universe You have brought back freedom and democracy into the African continent Nilo Khali Yoko shoni choko mto mnyema we Afrika kuli soli pena Nilo khuwa ni lusha kema lufutu la lukhuwa chini swep Lwazo lufuka nyamu shwengu nba chet ya khape ni mnyamu na mechanga Yoke na nasidi ala ala matima Ala ala matima tibi ndonga Kya kulu la minya We will always remember you for memories of our heritage. It helps us to preserve our cultural integrity, sustain our heritage intelligence, and maintain our traditional protocols. Oh, since we're some of the young men and our daughter, teach them to be patient, and not to set us against the formula. Sit down, tell the punga. Can't get a girl who can't love me like I can't get a man. I'm not a girl who can't be a man. So I'm saying I'm going to get some women to love. Yeah, ham. Yeah, ham. Mandukia ke matiba, mandukia ke yem yem Aba fas ba sem peso bon tagat Yekham Yo 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 Wacha Yes It's phenomenal Jessica, come over here but we're able to serve you dinner after that performance. My word, incredible. Absolutely. And uh, I don't know how like, she can sustain she's got that. a powerful voice. Her tonsils must be on fire right now. <laughs> Yo. Well, uh, thank you so much for sending us your comments on Facebook when we asked you, uh, what do you love most about your father figure? 
And uh, Iketeng, thank you Iketeng. <laughs> You've become furniture on the show. I so miss my dad so badly. He passed away in 2012, but, it's still, but it feels like yesterday. But his angels are guiding us every day. He was the best dad in the world. I inherited a lot from his... his um, from him, shame. May his soul R.I.P. Love you so dearly, Papa. Always in our thoughts, gone but not forgotten. Oh, oh so sweet. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. There's some beautiful stories on Facebook. If you want some inspiration today, head over to Afternoon Express and go and read some of those comments about the men who are doing amazing things in their households. So thanks for sharing all your memories with us as we celebrate uh, trying to obviously eradicate single well, uh, men that are absent from their, yeah. from their homes. Yeah. You know? and, and I think a lot, I mean, maybe you might agree with me on this, is that a lot of the times men who perhaps grew up with absent fathers having to teach themselves to parent uh, their children almost have to reparent themselves, right? You do, you do. Um, sometimes just having a mother who kind of guides you on doing the right things kind of helps. But if you grew up in, a, in, in an environment where your mother played solely a motherly role, it's a bit harder because you have to learn, you have to start again. Mm. And I think for me, as I said, I always wanted to be a dad at some point, you know, from a young age looking up to some crazy guy. <laughs> I looked up to Eminem as, as, as a dad because no matter what happened, he always yeah, looked up to... I look up to Eminem for yeah. lots of reasons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it's the fact that he, was always, he always looked after his daughters yeah. no matter yeah. what happened. Yeah. And that's kind of like yeah. um, what helped me um, to become the more responsible parent that I am. Nice. Wow. And Jess, do you have a good relationship with your, your, your father? Oh, my dad is the reason why I'm a fashion designer today. Uh -huh. He instilled a sense of... Uh, of love of fashion and uh, he's a tailor a professional tailor oh. he would make me outfits and he would um actually um my vests were coming from woolworths so or true words i was wearing brands at a young age so every time and again i would have a pack a box of clothes that were coming from my dad school yeah. shoes sandals leather vaseline shoes you know this and that mm -hmm. and um the night dresses with its own underwear just a pair you know so See. He has taken good care of me, so that's Stunning. the reason why today I don't even go I bother myself to go to the courts when a man doesn't yeah. want to look after his child yeah. because I know a man right there who made a good decision yeah. in his life to I look after yeah. her daughter, yeah. you know. Can I just say, though, one thing that's really struck me from this conversation is as much as we want to talk about men being absent in their children's lives, it's also about being that word man seems to be also something we need to focus our attention on. What do you mean to be a good dad? Never mind just present. Be, be a you father to, to children. Yes. Mm -hmm. And perhaps these kids don't even need a father who's in the house, but they need a man, yeah. a male figure in their life right. to teach them what it means to be a man. Mm -hmm. really I think that's true. as vital as having just somebody around. You can have a drunk and abusive father at home, and that's mm -hmm. not useful. It's not useful at all. Be yeah. a man and be at home. You know. And Absolutely. The, the nice importance man. of the family, the family fig father figures, or uncle mm. uh, th taking yes. uh, good care of yep. grandfathers. grandfathers yeah. So um, I'm surrounded by those kind of people when I'm away. I know that yeah. the uncle is there. Will take the children to their extramural activities Aww. and uh, wh when they go to the rural areas they look up yeah, to their yeah. uncles and grandfathers over there so the sense of family yeah, really when it. you say it's not about a man but it's, not, it's about uh, uh, being a, fi a good figure Yes. Father figure in, in somebody's Speaking life. about our figures, we've got food in front of us. <laughs> and we've got meat free today. I'm going to challenge you guys to meat free Monday on the show today. Absolutely. Yeah, and join us again, please, tomorrow for another edition of the Afternoon Express. Cook along. Our special mm. guest is talented actress Soso Ramu, best known for her role as Morongo in Issa Dingo. So do join Could us tomorrow. Show. Thank you so much for joining us today. This is thank delicious. You to our Maybe I've got the recipe you. at home. It's Austin, amazing. Jessica, thank you. Yeah. Thank you ever so much, mate. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, thank you very much. And thanks for joining us. Good night and happy eating. God bless. Clover. Another feel-good production.